Um, we were all in the living room, mm -hmm. and the kids were watching TV. We had a, a big TV console. on the floor, console TV. And I needed to go to Safeway. See, it's all Safeway's fault. <laughs> I needed to go to Safeway and get something for dinner. And the kids were all happy sitting there. And they said, Mom, please let it stay here. We'll go to Safeway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, no, girls, come with me to this room. They were begging me. I said, no. I said, we're going to the store. We'll come back. You can watch your cartoons again. Okay, because they were maybe... Well, I was 10. And, uh, okay. and, I, and I, I was old enough to stay alone. But I anyway, yeah. I would not. And so I was getting my purse, and I looked over, I turned off the TV. I looked over the TV, and, and there's a Spark. thing like this, and I saw a plane. Right where the well, I, I think I said, Mom, the, the numbers are flickering. The oh, numbers, the numbers the are flickering? Were flickering. Yeah, yeah. look closer, yeah. and it was a flame inside the plastic of the TV where mm -hmm. the dial was. And I went, oh my God, it was on fire. So all I could think of was take the cord out and um, the drapes. It was right by the drapes. <laughs> I get the drapes up out of the way because kids flame shot up a wooden block on the drapes. Yeah. And I said, oh my God. I said, girls, get out of the house. Um, and the man across the street was a, was a volunteer fireman. Mm -hmm. So I said, tell Doreen's dad. Doreen's yeah. dad, yeah. And, and, and so I punched, and I didn't know if he was home or not. So I punched, it wasn't 911, you had to call fire. Mm -hmm. So he came over, he was home. He came over and um, came up the stairs and, he, and by then <laughs> it was buckling the top, the bubbling. Yeah, it was bubbling, yeah. And then he said, here, help me, help me take it outside. So he was on one end, I was on the other, and we pulled it out, put it out on the porch. Here comes the fire engine down the, down the street. I'm looking, oh, I said, oh my God. I was the fire engine. They sent the whole and he, I said, they sent the whole thing. And he said, like, said it what did you expect them to send a half a drop? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, oh my, because I've never had a fire engine. And so the firemen were running up the stairs, and they saw that we had it out, and, they, and I told them about the engine. They weren't too far from it. And they us. shot foam on it or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I went, oh, thank you. And I said, that's... And so they started the, sprinkling outside. Yeah, and so I, I just, over. I left it, I put a rug over it, and then I came and I said, see girls, I said, what if I had left you home, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. gone to the store, there's a fire, and you never think it would start from the TV, mm -hmm. you know, you think maybe fire, or stove, mm -hmm. anyway, mm -hmm. you want to hit the rest of the store? Yeah. Well, your father comes My home that, that <laughs> night, and I said, I think the first thing when he came in, he's, he's where's the TV? And I said, I said, well, I said this out on the front porch. What's it doing out there? I he said, was mad. I said we had it. I said it caught on fire. And I said, and um, you know, he he wasn't concerned. With me. He was mm -hmm. mad. And, he just, yeah. and so he went over to the front door, and uh, I said, I don't know what happened. It's caught on fire, and, and uh, what was his name, George? I don't know somebody across the street. I said, help carry, help me carry it out in the fire department. Yeah. Said, well, help me carry it back in. Yeah. Like, what are you going to do? You can't watch it anymore. I know. Well, it was the idea that it's yeah. precious to you. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we brought it back in. Yeah, yeah I was floored that he had, he was mad because of the yeah. TV. Hello.